Hello, I'm Matt Sacomano with Masa Tool, and I'd like to explain to you our Microconic system, which is a high precision work holding system that optimizes your machine for small parts. Uh, anything in a range of 8 thousandths or 0.2 millimeter diameter all the way up to 10 millimeter. It can, it's a two piece system, it consists of a cartridge that fits in your machine just like a standard collet. And then in the microconic collets fit inside the cartridge. Now the way this works, this is actually a cartridge for a machine that would use a TF25 collet. And that would fit in your machine. This, this is something you might use in the sub spindle of a screw machine. That fits in your machine like that. We have, you install the cartridge in the machine and put the machine in the closed collet condition. Then you would install the microconic collet inside the cartridge. Thread this in that way, like that. So the machine is still in the, in the closed collet condition while you install it. You thread the collet into the cartridge. Then insert a gauge pin that's the size of your workpiece. And then tighten this down onto, onto your gauge pin. Boom. Okay, as soon as it hits the gauge pin, you take the gauge pin out. And now you can, you see this graduation mark? You can actually, now you tighten the collet. 0 0.02, 0.02 millimeter, 0.04, or 1 thousandths, 2 thousandths. These are graduated either in an inch or metric. You can actually adjust, dial, micrometer adjust the collet closure. Set it right at the size you need for your part. Generally, uh, about one thousandth of an inch is, is a good light chucking force, or up to three thousandths would be extremely heavy chucking. Once you set the collet, simply lock it in place with the screwdriver. Now it's set. You don't even need a workpiece to set the collet, and you don't need to do it by feel. The, the closing of the collet is entirely controlled by the cartridge. The machine actuates it with the open and close feature of the machine but the cartridge actually controls the gripping force. That's what it looks like. So this fits in there just like a TF25 collet. You put it in, just set, set the closer average force, you know, and then you're done. You don't need any more adjustment in the machine. You put this in the closed collet position, and the collet does not move, just the, just the, the sleeve, sleeve moves, yeah. So it's true dead length. That's like a TF15 inserted. It's it's Would actually it, yeah. it's a microconic well, okay. collet. It's our own. That's your own collet. Okay, yeah. it's threaded. Okay. Yeah. So you thread that in, and you can see it's actually a true dead length. I'll hold it here, as as close as you can see how the nose moves, but the collet does not move. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. So you you put that you put the machine in the closed collet position. You tighten it down onto a gauge pin. That's the size of your part. Right. So tighten it. There's a little graduation mark here tighten it, remove the gauge pin, and put your wrench in. Now you can dial exactly how much closer, like five tenths, a, th a wow. thousandths, okay. thou and a half. Usually like from five tenths to a thousandths, very light chucking, a thou and a half is typical. Okay. And you know, two, three thousandths is very is heavy that really? closure. Okay. Yeah, this thing is really rigid. So you adjust your your uh, closing force. You don't even need a workpiece to set it. You 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 don't even have to have you a part. Have part to, okay. Yeah, you just set you, you set it, lock it in place, and you're done. You know it's you know it's set, you know to the size of your your part. Now, the problem with extended nose collets, the traditional collets, is the clamping force it's is here. It's already down there, right? The parts there, right? Exactly. So the the more you squeeze it, the tighter. You, it, it ends like this. Yep. Yeah, and your parts. You know, yeah, run out's bad, it damages the end of the part, you know, it's just a little With our system, we have a solid extended nose. This this is a one-piece hardened steel precision ground piece all the way out to here. Solid extended nose. It applies it applies the chucking pressure right over the part. You know, I, I had this backed out farther than it is in use. In use, of course, the collet's in there like that, right? So the, the cl clamping force is right over the over part. The part so yeah. And the difference it makes is amazing. I mean, you can, there's no micro movement. You can do stuff in the sub spindle that you never would have dreamed of doing. 
like blind hole broaching, um, you know, heavy peck drilling, whatever. It will not, the parts won't push back. And the neat thing too is because the chucking force is controlled inside the cartridge, regardless of what the machine does, you can set it in the morning. You know, in the machine, you got the closer back here and the collet over here. So as it heats up, you know, the beginning of the day it's cold, the end of the day it's warm. As it heats up, things change a little bit, right? There's a little bit of thermal growth there. With our system, it's so self-contained, there's no change. You set this in the morning, boom, it'll, it grips exactly the same all day long. First part in the morning, last part on second shift, it's all the same. You don't have to play with it during the day. So where's your, ex and this one isn't the typical of one that would expand for like your four millimeter, this, but, but this one right. would be, right? That's that a, would be, that's our over that would be column. the over grip. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show so you So this one. is almost just an extended nose, just a standard yeah. extended it's nose. Yeah, extended that nose, okay. and the major benefit of this system, which we have in also you the over full clamping force. You got the clamping force, you have two tenths TIR, yeah. okay. five microns maximum TIR guaranteed. And that's on your workpiece. Okay. You can see in the video up here. Oh, there, wow. There's the overgrip. That's oh, four millimeter overgrip. Oh, it reaches over that, clamps on the chain, cuts it off. Now watch it. It'll go over to a dial indicator. 80 millionths run out. That's a tenth indicator. Holy cow. It'll do that all day long. That, What's the cost that is? The, uh, the cartridge yeah. is 2,985. And the cartridge is, that's like, that's your sleeve. So I could use that with other, that's almost, yeah. that's, that's a necessity uh, sleeve that would be like our cartridge sleeve and our spindle sleeve. Right, you put, so this, you in, you okay. put this in your spindle and you can leave it there. Okay. Any of our collets will work we'll in the work cartridge. In okay. They'll also fit the and same it would collets. Fit, it would fit this and this? Yeah, and this? it'll do over wow. grip and okay. standard okay. once you buy the cartridge. Okay. And we also offer TF20 you know, okay. for the smaller machines. We also offer 5C right now okay. for chuckers, you know. Um, and we're expanding the line. You know, okay, so you don't have you, you don't have 37 or 20. We don't have right 37 okay. yet, but that's been very popular, requested okay. at the show, and I think we're going to bump that up in the product release right. too. We're going to release that in pretty soon. So right soon. now for our, our L20s and that's uh, yep. 16s and 20s, you have it available for that. Great. Yeah. And this. Okay, so this is the. What was it called? This was 2,985 okay. for the cartridge. The collets, the standard collet is $226. Which is like a collet, okay. The overgrips are $448. And we have collets available from 8 thousandths, you know, 0.2 millimeter, all the way up to 10 millimeter or 394. Okay. Every size, there's no gap in sizes, no special sizes available mm -hmm. in two days. Everything. Always. Also in overgrip, same thing. These are not specials. So I'm going to so show over you. Grip, overgrip would be still 390, 10 millimeter. The max. No, it, the 10 is the max, max that'll go through. Goal, so okay. with overgrip, you know, there's no it's room to go over that. So you can't go over 10. And so because we have four millimeters of, once you get up to six and a half, beyond that, it, it's less and less overgrip. You know, up to you know, you can't go over 10. So. We, we always recommend on your first overgrip application that you show us a part drawing so we can discuss some okay. of the issues. Now one problem with a collet like an overgrip, you know, of course you're usually swallowing a head or something like that in the collet, is, is part head. ejection. Yeah. Let's say you grab it this way, probably you'd grab it the other way actually, you know, typically you grab it like this and then finish the head. But because the, the threads or, or the head, or, or, or like in this case, the case of this part, that would be inside the collet. So, you, you know, when you try to reject it, it might hang up or get caught in the yeah. slot. And with the overgrip collet, you do not want it, anything caught in those slots. It can break the collet. So, we, with every overgrip collet, we supply a guide sleeve blank that you drill out to fit the size of the part. And that threads into the back of the collet like yeah. that. And then you drill through, you know, drill, you know, like in this case, you drill a loose fitting hole for that. So it will help slide and the part out. It out. And the beauty of that too, is when you put this in the spindle, if you have through spindle air or through spindle coolant, you put this in the spindle, there's no slots. It seals the spindle. So everything goes through here. And then when you put the collet in there, it seals on this diameter inside here. So all of the 
air and coolant blasts through the center. And when you put this in and drill it through, this seals here, so it all comes out the tip. So it's like perfect. Yeah, it really helps ejection. You know, the oil and the air blows straight out. And in this example in our video, you can see when this thing near the end of the video, you'll see it'll open. Uh, well, the video is 40 seconds long, but it'll open and the part spits out. That was ejected with air using this. Even though when they ran it, the part looks like this. That was a blank that they show you, a brass mm -hmm. blank, so they can run it without coolant. With this part, they were using high pressure through spindle coolant to reject it. But uh, you know, without the flutes and everything, air is yeah, good. Yeah, that would. Uh, yeah, the high pressure will fill fill that thing. Yeah, out. you'll yeah, see it. It'll it. come up here. There, you know, 80 millionths concentricity. The machine comes up to open the collet, spits it out. Boom. So there, that guide see if you can't see it is inside of that. It helps it guide out, and that was just air blowing it out. Can I take case. a video of that picture? Oh yeah, sure. I I'll uh, I could send you the you video. You can send me the video. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Um, now I got to show you one thing, you guys are going to be blown away by this, because I know a lot of people use your machines to make dental implants. Mm -hmm. And in fact, this dental implant was made on an SR20. Okay. So there's your typical dental implant, right? Mm -hmm. This is a short one, but there are various lengths. They have a uh, fairly large hex brooch inside. Nobody runs the brooch in the subspindle because it pushes back the collet, right? right? So the typical way to run this is you run this end out, do the ID, turn the OD, thread it, lightly chuck on the OD, and then cut it off, right? Now when you cut it off, it's kind of a drag because there's a milled flute there. It'll kick a burr into the flute, so they have to have somebody under a microscope scraping the burr, you know, it's kind of a pain. The shop that got this job, they bid it at 18 parts an hour running it that way, which was very competitive. They got the order, it was 10,000 piece order. But there's a machinist there, his name is Juan Maravilla, and the guy is brilliant, and he loves our stuff. And he says, you know, I'm gonna try running it the other way and use one of your overgrip collets to reach over that thread and grab on just 40 thousandths of land. This is a polished neck that the doctors insist have no damage to it. So he's chucking on the like most critical surface finish on the part with, an, with our overgrip collet, 40 thousandths wide area, coming down, clamping on that, and then he wanted to do the ID all on the subspindle with no stop behind it. And I told Juan, wow, you know, I, I believe in our stuff, but I'm not sure that would work. He said, no, I want to try it. So long story short, this, the first time he set it up, he pushed one part back a little. He used the wrench and dialed it, another half a thousandth closure. It held good from that point, no damage. They ran the whole 10,000 piece order. Because they could shift all that main spindle work of the ID you into the sub half spindle, the, half the job it went from 18 right. parts an hour to 32 parts yeah. an hour. He oh. balanced out the, uh, yeah. the, the work. And not the, only that, there he, were no second up. Because, so did he have to modify then this to go over that into a... No. I no. mean, you know what I'm saying? Well, there, there's one modification we did because the land is so narrow. Right, right. We just ground a little off the nose. That's we it. did that okay. for a nominal okay. charge. Because that's like an angle too, so then... Right, that was like this, like a, or that straight? That's straight. Yeah, this oh, is that's straight. straight. Okay, yeah, I didn't know. Straight. It looked like it, it looked like it was tapered. Now here's this was run that way. Here, I mean, you could check out, check out the circle. That was a good How did shot. You do Look at that. that. Yeah, she, that was good. She, you get a beer. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I need one. You can check out after the brooch. You know, when you brooch, sometimes it kicks the part off or whatever. Check this out. The ODE is turned on the main, right? The ID is, is bored on the sub. Check out, there's a one and a half thousand flat around that chamfer on that okay. sharp edge. Look how concentric that is. You can't even see a difference. It's just like We, we can do with the regular collets. No, no way. Yeah. It's, it, you wouldn't even dream of doing that with, yeah. a, with a traditional legacy collet. And there's no right. way. It's impossible. So the customers... You know, they buy a, a machine, brand new machine, quarter of a million dollars tooled up, right? And and 80% of the time, the sub spindle's sitting there idle. They got two spindles. With our system, you can move so much more. You can do time studies that just blow away anybody who doesn't have it. Yeah, it's a perfect flat. Yeah. flat on the, on the top. Here. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. I mean, it's just like, so it, it it's, uh, you know, they paid for this, it, it was in nine days it paid for the system, oh, that, yeah. running it that right. way. And now, of course, after that, the rest of the job, it was gravy. That shop actually standardizes it. They're all microconic. You know, the neat thing, our standard collets, because the adjustment is so easy and so quick, 
and everything's available in two days. It's like, you know, why would you ever want to use it? Well, I, I, I know what you're saying. Even a cast, the TIR of their even extra precision sucks, and they don't even guarantee that under a net. Right. But yeah. Right. You pay through the nose, and you still, if you want a good one, you better buy two or three and sort through them and make sure you get one that's good. Yeah. And there's the the way the reason our mic the word microconic comes from the way the unique design of our collets. We make it in a way it's a proprietary five-step grinding process to do that and the difference in what we do if you look at any traditional collet you'll see most of the wear is near the slots it kind of binds mm -hmm. in that spot and and the way the manufacturers have sort of put a band-aid on the problem they cam grind it so you can see that grind as you spin that around it dips down on the slot so at least it doesn't bind on the sharp edge right but it still has the fundamental problem of binding there and there that really makes the accuracy on the collets very hard to achieve consistently. With the microconic collet, let me grab a microconic collet. It has a wear pattern. The wear pattern of a microconic collet will always primarily be right in the center. And it's a very smooth transition out, out to the edge. So that's your primary wear point, always right in the center. The collet always closes exactly to the same way. So, you know, we we say two tenths TIR, it's not like we have a big bone pile of collets that we sort through them and send them to you. It's fundamentally different the way we do. We do a five step grinding process. It's a little bit more expensive, but everyone's good. That's yeah. why, how we can confidently guarantee two tenths TIR. And that's two tenths TIR in your machine. I mean, if there's, if there's run out in your spindle, this is ground to within millions. You, you put this, that's the first thing you do on a new machine. You want to put this in the machine and indicate the nose right away without a collet in it. Just put it in and indicate the nose. This is ground to gauge like tolerances. It's straight within millions. If that runs true, your part's going to run true. We, we won't add more than two tenths or, or five microns TIR on top of the rest of it. You know, if your machine runs out one tenth, at the worst case, your part's going to be three. Typically, though, our average call it's, it is about a tenth or less. And like you can see in the video, that was 80 million. So it's, it's very common to have that. You know? In fact, when when customers try this for the ter first time, we give our reps this uh, uh, a little kit to take with them. So they have various cartridges. We offer it in a 5C size for chucker. Also controls the, the closing force, so you can use a hydraulic collet closer. It does. You can grip an 8,000 diameter part. With a big old hydraulic closer, you can do it easily with the adjustable micro grab wrench. But we give this to our to our reps; they take with them, and the customer says, "Oh, let me try that out." So they grab one of the collets, they put this in their machine, they stick a gauge pin in it, and the guy, the machinist, will put his indicator on it. And the first thing you'll see him do is is look at it and adjust it up and down, and then tap it because the it needle makes, doesn't move. Yeah, make sure it's, <laughs> make sure it's, it's not like, bottomed up. Yeah. yeah. Matt, did, when you, let me ask you one quick question. I know you went over our adjustment end on our regular sleeve to the initial your cartridge. What that doesn't have to be as critical. I mean, you no. just in your machine once you set that, just set it on average force because okay. it, all you're doing in the machine is actuating this so it goes to its dead stop okay. inside. So as long as it pulls as against that it, stop, as long as it just go, centers your final adjustment, sets the final force. Right. So we're just using ours as just almost an actuator. That's all it is, yeah. an actuator. So if it hot, cold, first in the morning, first at the Monday morning off the weekend to the last one on Friday night, it's, it it's doesn't change. So there, I mean, the troubleshooting, it just goes away from setups. I mean, you just don't even have to worry about it. Also, you don't, I mean, lots of times when you're just riding the, the edge on damaging the part or holding it tight enough, your part tends to slip after a while, you know, the, the, the guys are always, you know, you might break a tool because, you know, your part pushes back or whatever. You know, with our with this system, and, you know, like I said, true dead length, the collet doesn't move, it just actuates, it's rock solid, you know, all controlled inside the cartridge. I mean, it, it's really a revolution in what you can do. Or the turret,